never get tired of all-time highs. We're experiencing a pretty terrific time for the market. House of pleasure. Which is exactly what I said would happen when the Fed starts cutting rates while the economy's still solid. That's how you get days like today. I mean, the Dow gained 410 points, all-time high. S&P climbed 0.61%, also an all-time high. And the Nasdaq advanced 0.33%. Take what happened today. Some of the major banks reported this morning. The numbers were just, frankly, spectacular. This has happened before, but because the Fed was in a tightening cycle at the time, the good news just didn't matter. Now, though, the Fed's our friend, so we can extrapolate better times. That's why the strong earnings from Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan, and BlackRock were greeted with such a resoundingly positive reaction. You know, it wasn't like that early morning. When the conference reported, J.P. Morgan stock was initially unchanged. Wells Fargo stock was getting hammered mercilessly. Although BlackRock's numbers were so extraordinary, there was no way its stock could give up any ground. But once we heard the conference calls from J.P. Morgan and Wells, we realized, oh, wait a second, maybe the best is yet to come. And then we were off to the races. Maybe that's going to be the pattern of this nascent earnings season. Oh, we're going to find out soon enough. Next week, the numbers will be flying in, and we'll be if we see if today's positive action can be sustained. Which brings me to... Our game plan. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.